Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Oh my god. Whoa. I know, right? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's start with the bad. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Uh, 
I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh, God. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. It's oh, gonna be so hard. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Violet. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decision's made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. <sighs> Jesus. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? 
It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? Crawford's all zombies. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Crap. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Definitely. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. That never ends well when you say that. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? So then we just need a battery. 
This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. <laughs> so according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. What does that say? To the playground. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Oh, stairwell. That makes sense. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Sweet! Best kind of stuff. Creepy. No power, no TV. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Oh. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. God, dude, you just are not adding A and B together, are you? Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Initials of persons searching, number of intelligible citizens, number of citizens brought, number of walkers found. 
days since outbreak. 71 days since outbreak. OB. Number of ineligible. Sorry, not one ineligible citizen, two taken, three walkers. Makes sense. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Just a bunch of paste. Mm, delicious. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. How can you not just fall in love with her? So innocent. Hopscotch. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? I didn't see that until I mentioned it. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Climb the shell casings? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here, it wasn't good. Can't open it without the combination. Crap out of me, dude. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Understood. <gasps> Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Didn't get to read that last bit. Thief or looting, oh, theft or looting within the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. All logical. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Dude, shut up. Guess I'm not going that way. There's a fence there, that's good. Auto shop must be down this way. Hmm. 
Get too close. Damn, it's jammed tight. Well, that's unfortunate. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Hmm. <laughs> Better not get too close. I thought I had a hatchet. The fuck? He's mine. What were you doing up there? you got it one more Ugh. he's wearing medical scrubs some kind of scientist or doctor maybe yeah well he ain't shit now did you find us a way in yeah but the garage door's jammed can't raise it Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh. Oh, yeah. Convenient. That'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Good. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. I think I want to touch that one with a red blinking light on it. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? 
I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Hmm. Seems like you didn't fit in their paradise. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. No power. Hmm. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Well... Office door, huh? It's locked. No way in. Do you mind if I borrow your tool weapon? Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off! Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? It's shut. Shoot it out. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump! Uh-huh. I don't know, man. <sighs> Come on! Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery! Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Wait a second. You guys all good? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Little help! Little help here! Fuck! The doors won't close! 
blows all the way. Lee, do something! We got it. Break the door with something! Like that hold? And damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I don't see as how I could blame you, really. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Well, that was only like, I don't know, time? An hour ago? Wait a second. Nope, there's nothing back there. Okay. Vernon must be trapped in there. 